Now in this tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about components and basically components are not really complicated. Components are just building blocks of your application or certain portions or sections of your web page. And what you see here in this illustration is that there's a header component, there's a footer component down below, we have a sidebar component and we have a body component. And if you like, you might have to have more components inside your body component. So basically it's just building blocks of your application. And uh, let me show you a slightly more visual or more uh, colorful version. So what you have here is a header, just like you had in the previous slide, and you have a footer, you have an article component on your top left, and you have a comments component right below it, and then you have categories component, you have newsfeed component. So basically, all of these live inside of a root component, and if you uh, recall, I did mention that our app root is our root component, that's where the entire application lives. So this is all ab about uh, components, it's not complicated at all, and if we look at a more realistic version, you would notice that we have this top nav bar this ha which has flight 42 and stats and notifications and settings so that whole section can be a component that little sidebar that has flight 42 and home flights passengers payments all that section can also be an, a separate component and the part at the bot that the body part that is below the nav bar that can also be a component and it can also have its own components so each of those items in the bookings each of that can be a component so it's really uh, a way for you to uh, create complex user interfaces and bring them just by uh, working on specific units of that user interface and then bringing all of them together so now that we have an overview of how components are supposed to look in the browser side of things let's look at the coding side of things and how we should create our components and structure, the, and structure it in the file system. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new component and I'm going to go to ng-serve and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just stop this server from running and I'm going to generate a new component by typing this ng command and I'm going to type uh, new actually not new sorry G so this stands for generate if you want you can type the whole thing and if you want you can type component as well so that's the next keyword that we need to type off the generate so I'm just gonna remove that and I'm gonna type G and C as well for component and then the name of that component so I'm just gonna call mine hello world like that and uh, now it should create four files and if you notice it creates it has created an app um not app sorry it has created a hello world dot component dot html file it has created a spec file which is for unit testing i did mention that and it has created a ts file which is used for for um for the logic and this is your css file which is used to style your component or your HTML template actually so and another thing it did it went to app module.ts and it did uh, it updated something so we're gonna go over to that file and we're gonna talk a little more about that so if we go to app.module.ts I didn't speak about this file but all there is to this file is that when you create a component it's going you're gonna have to um, import that component so if you notice here we have hello world and it is referencing hello world forward slash which is this folder here that that was created upon creating a component and it's referencing hello world dot component and it's actually referencing the ts file so we can add dot ts at the end uh, well not anymore <laughs> we used to but essentially you don't need to have it basically that's why uh, now they have enforced a rule to not even add it at all uh, 
but it's actually a ts it's, it's referencing the ts file so if we open this folder it's this hello world dot component dot ts so if we go here the name of this class that 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 was exported over here that's why we are able to import it over here so we are importing it from that file and this is what we mean so the name of that class is what we mean by hello world over here so that's how we're importing it and when once we get that object we want to add it to the declarations property in this ng module decorator so I did mention that um, a decorator specifies or marks a certain class as a special type of class. So this is an ng module, and this this app module file it's it's a class that has been marked by the ng module decorator. And it, this ng module decorator has declarations, and in the declarations we can pass our components in here. So if you create more components in the future, you have to make sure that it ha it is added here in this declarations if you have issues later on you have to double check did i include that component in the declarations and we'll go over imports later on we don't really need to know about imports for now but as for now we're worried about declarations so angular actually adds that um, component for you but you have to double check if it's there because maybe the version that you're using of Angular does not include this feature where it adds these uh, declarations for you. But yeah, you can create this folder manually and you can create these files manually, but you have to make sure that you're including that component here. So upon creating our, uh, okay, upon creating our HTML, I mean, sorry, our component, we have our HTML P tag that has hello world works here, but we don't see it in the browser. So why is that? If I, if I reload, it's, it's not going to come up. So we want to know, oh, actually I am, I'm not even running the application. So let's rerun that application, make sure that it's running and then double check if uh, there's any issues. And you'll see that there are issues because we are not seeing that p tag that we created. So this hello world works. We don't see it here. So now our application is running and I'm just going to reload this. And as you can see, we still get that HTTP local host, but we don't get our um, hello. I mean, I mean, our hello world works. So I'm just going to remove that. And actually, I'm going to keep it there, but I'm just going to change the text in the, um, in the H1. And I'm going to say, welcome to, uh, to my website. Just change that to a lowercase w. And it says, welcome to my website. Now we want to also include this component that we created. So how do we do that? We go to the TS and we check what the selector of that file is. We change it if we don't like the current selector. So I'm just going to change this and remove that app. And I'm going to copy this hello world. And I'm going to go to my root component. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say hello world. And we should now see hello world works printed below this component i mean this h1 sorry so we can also style that p tag we could say color red and you see that that p tag is going to change and its color is going to be red and i'm going to delete that and that's basically how you create a new component and what you notice here is that i'm not calling this component in index no i'm calling it in root rather so the reason i'm calling it in root is because whatever is in root will be displayed in the html so long as we are calling that root in this 
index.html so if we decide later on we want to create another component and add it inside this hello world then we're gonna have to call that component uh, inside hello world and if hello world is being called correctly in 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 this root then we're gonna see it displayed in the application so let me just demo that it's just so you know I'm not talking nonsense so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create um, another tab because I don't want to stop that server so I'm gonna cd to documents forward slash angular projects Actually, it's not regular projects, it's tutorials. Let me just double check because I forgot. DIR, it's Angular tutorials. So I can just say Angular, whoops, Angular tutorials. And from there, I want to create another component so I'm gonna generate another component but this time I want to generate it inside hello world so I'm gonna say hello world forward slash and then I'm gonna specify the name of the component that I want to create so the reason why I'm saying hello world forward slash is because I want it to be inside hello world and how I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna specify its name and I'm gonna say child I'm just gonna say child it says oh I'm not even in the project oh my goodness so I'm just gonna navigate to that project uh, that's gonna be tutorial and now it should create the child component inside H the this hello world component and in order to as you can see you're gonna get this child works p tag here and if you want it to display you're gonna have to call that um, let me just check the selector I'm just gonna remove that app because automatically it adds this app so I'm just gonna uh, change the selector name to child and I'm gonna call it in my hello world just below it and as you can see we get child works so basically that's how a component works. It's really nice, it's flexible. You can focus on just that component and not the entire application as a whole. And then you can just bring the components together and you have a full website. Now, of course, some of the components are gonna have to communicate with each, with each other and send data, but we're gonna talk about that later on. You don't have to worry about it for now, but this is just the basics of components.